up everybody welcome to today's show how are you guys doing man it's so good to see you welcome to another edition of chit chat right here on y254 tv my name is philin jean and that is on all socials the hashtag is chit chat right and of course you can talk to us on our social pages that is at y254 channel we're on twitter instagram and facebook we have posts go comment below let us know where you're tuned in from and your various contribution to stories we are talking about now that would be amazing now before we get started with today's show let's meet my panelists so we call them my co-hosts right here they're not new to the show you already know who they are i'm gonna start with wangare of course because you know what they say ladies first <laughs> how are you how are you doing let's just say i'm fine mm -hmm. yeah i'm fine i'm okay right yes i missed being here so much i hope you guys have been okay i've been great right we missed yeah. you last week and you look fantastic oh, by I'm the so way oh, you look come on <laughs> fantastic <laughs> i know she looks fantastic. fantastic. Yes, yes, anywho, yes. anywho, anywho, anywho. Let's meet, you know, the Chelsea super fanatic. And he's so excited. Chelsea won yesterday after a long time. And he is right here. <laughs> he's just been grinning like this. Sanja Domo. Welcome to the show. Bantu, how are you? Feeling your intro in Your intro in I'm mm -hmm. good. Ernest Bantu is my name. Right. Karibuni sana. Jamombe bol. Vitu za wazungu tumeeka kwanza. Tuongee vitu za wazungu. Tuongee siku ingine. Tuongee siku ingine. Yeah, lakini karibuni ni wakati wakachai. Mhm. Hii ndi ule wakati bana. Ah, na vile si sema room officially yeah. open. It's yeah, the room is officially open. Open guys. Right. Yeah. Now like we mentioned earlier the hashtag is chat. We are we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as y 254 We have posts. Go comment below. Let us know where you're tuned in from. And if time allows it, at the, at the end of the show, we'll be actually sampling some of your comments. Would love to hear from you. And of course, if you're joining us for the first time, you have no idea what we are all about. This show is all about gossip. We do a roundup of stories that have been making headlines throughout the week. We call that Chit Chat. And welcome to the show. Let's start right here at home. And the content creator, Rono, has gone after everyone in the entertainment scene who has in the past treated her badly. Now, Rono started off by calling out Elsa Majimbo and Kate Actress for copying her content. Then went after Shonarwa, uh, Kamene Goro and Nikita Kirin. Now, she accused Nikita of bullying her and wanting her dead you know uh while she was fighting depression how uh, she however said she was really proud of uh, crazy kenna and his team for going after their team that their dreams rather for going after their dreams right all right so we have videos we have receipts of course kamakawaida let's have a look oh the single ladies oh the single ladies but not me <laughs> i have a baby because Beyonce must have been excluding me when she was talking about the single ladies. I'm going to see my brown sugar, my darling. My pants are much, much. Is it okay now, Fanny? Yeah. My back is ready. Yeah. I am an endanger to the species. Look at how beautiful I'm looking. <laughs> Arrest me. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, you're sugar. I want to look like my car. <laughs> As you can see, brown sugar, my figure. <laughs> Bring on the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing simple. <laughs> Are you saying? Have you got some something to drink? I got a beer. Can you get this kidana something to drink? Irrigation. See? Talk to mommy. How have you been? I've been good, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm going to. And a salad. Medium to well. That's Naomi. We all know who Rono is. She's a, she's a content creator. She's a comedian. She is a former radio host. She's been just doing a lot. But then she also took time off to, you know, she, had, she was dealing with depression. You guys remember that, right? Mm -hmm. 
so she took uh, she took time off socials and she also decided to get healthy lose weight and everything and she snapped back and all that so uh before then we just knew her as rono and uh, everyone online was like oh el samajimbo stole rono's identity rono is the one who started this and that and that but then uh, rono didn't say anything at that time so recently when she made a comeback I'm a Kujanau character and it's Auntie Debs. So Auntie Debs basically in Auntie Waharia. You guys get who Auntie Waharia, uh, Auntie Waharia, uh, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all of them are Ben 10. Yeah, so mm. that is the character she has recently. So uh, the character, Kate actually started something like that. And so Ronald decided to call them out. It's like, El Samajimbo, you copied my content. Get actress, what are you doing? content. Why are you guys copying me? But then after that, she has gone after everyone. After Nikita Kering, after Shonara, after Kamene Goro, after literally everybody. But Crazy Kena, she said she's so proud of him. Everything, they, were, they used to work on radio together at some point. Some, some, everything Kena said he'll do. Uh, while they were working together, he has gone ahead and done it. So she's like, I'm so proud of Kena, you know. So I don't know, what are we thinking? Because people are like, Rona, are you okay? Do you need to go back? Uh, you know, maybe you're depressed. You need to talk to someone. Yeah, you need to now go back she's to projecting hospital. out you know? on like different people. But mm. anyway, for me, my problem, mm. I guess it's one of my weaknesses really, is the fact that I'm a very biased person. Mostly when I like someone. Mm. So, uh, Rona, uh, you go after who you want to go after. But Kate actress, that's my girl, like just... You know, there are people you attack mm -hmm. and you attack like the larger community. Uh, Shanara, Kidogo, uh, you attack her, we're like, mm. people like Kate Actress, those are not people you go after. Why not? Uh, because she's Kate Actress. Oh, uh, so Kate, in your eyes, Kate Actress does no wrong. In my eyes, Kate Actress is just Kate Actress and in her <laughs> doing whatever. Because I, I, I read her, 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 her feedback, mm. uh, she said that, Rono, uh everyone wants to be anti debs you know everyone wants to be to be that rich auntie auntie mado mm -hmm. and we adore you you see that shows that when kate was doing what she was doing it, it wasn't exactly she just wanted to to to, to do anti debs but as i make my comments for this particular story i already said i'm very biased because i really love Kate actress, I love Nikita Kerang and Nanyo uh, Mingename and Kamene Goro. Those are women I really adore. So you go after them, my comments will still be biased. But yo, girl, if you have issues you need to work out, please, uh, you, you, you come, you're giving a comeback in the spotlight in a very bad way and it's gonna backfire on you really quick. Wait, but but doesn't she have a right to speak her truth? Because like yes, in your she eyes, does. it might not be like what you expect her to do. But what if it's her truth? Actually, that's how she yes, feels. Yes, it's her inside. truth. It's her truth. Does that mean she's disturbed if she's speaking out and no, she's no, speaking but look, truth? look, you see, feeling something you did yesterday and you're talking about it today or tomorrow. That's something. But right now, something that happened between her with Nikita Kirin back then when they were still like young girls, and you yeah. come talk about it right now. I just feel like maybe back then she didn't have a platform or... She's had she so many listen, platforms. Listen, listen. She's not ready to talk about it. Oh. So right now she's probably ready to talk mm. about everything that she's is healing. disturbing her. So she, that's so that she can let it go and start afresh. Maybe. I'm just saying. But, but we don't have to know about it. Because I, I mean healing. Healing is a personal thing. Mm. You know, I, I just feel like she's, she's going about this the complete wrong way you know at least attack one person at a time but now when you when you see massive you're attacking like the entire you know content creator fraternity mm. now it, it's gonna backfire on you really bad girl truly i don't know about that honest Way in on this. We need a boy <coughs> child, a boy child opinion. <coughs> what are you thinking about this? <coughs> Does Rona have a right to call out people who she believes have wronged her? Alma is a story of Pigi Simu Kona Bazao Mudil Nazo of social media. We do not want to know. <laughs> Wangare wa shiori ya jimalize kujileza. <laughs> Ajionge. Mm. Uh -huh. Kitu mwelewi, uh -huh. watu wanaumia huko down. Uh -huh. Udema kwa sawa. Yeah. To my side kwa sawa. Kwa watu wanaumiza huko chini, wasani wanaumia huko chini, na wana uh -huh. mtu wanawatetea. Right. Kuna vitu si tunawana wa ama content creator wa kidu, uh -huh. zenye si zao. Wame steal from others. Lakini since ni yao tunajua, sasa hata we mse huko chini, awezi kuwa notice. So uh -huh. at least, amekuja kama nikilio cha jamii. <laughs> yeah, kinda kitu kama hiyo. Mm -hmm. At least watu wajue kuna watu wananyanyaswa huko chini pia. Kuna mtu anaenda kwa studio kama msanii anatoa ngoma, 
anaambua sawa mtu anasikia ngoma yake ni kali anauzia mtu mwingine mwenye anajulikana mnasikia eh nani anabanga na nguo ngoma si ya we ni mtu ujulikani sio ukienda kutoa ngoma yako hata kusikiza jua tukujui the same na comedy the same na hizi vitu watu wanadu so at least pia acha kumchukua negative ako na point at least kuna watu wananyanyaswa mm-hmm. wenye wajulikani wa yuko kwa spotlight mm-hmm. yeah ako poa sio kama kuna shida jiongee Eh hey, na so, ngopo at least wengine wa... wataogopa unajua wengine wataogopa. Yeah sasa so, watu wa kuamini wa kuamini we jionge. Kuna wale watakuamini. Usiwae amini watu wa kuamini. Mm. Kuna wale watakuamini. Right. Yeah. Uh, but up to that point much as I hate agreeing with Bantu like in a new ma too. But up to that point, up to that point. <laughs> Now you agree. And this is the only it is the only time I'm agreeing with you. Mm-hmm. The only time. Okay, God bless. <laughs> and it's so hard on me but yeah. it's uh, banto has a point my, my my main point is now if you have if you have to deal with something deal it within then like malizana na your story then if you have to cry out if some if an injustice was done to you then handle it then don't wait for like years later then then come bring it out because hello Yeah. But uh, let's and come back to You know people react differently. Mm. Where it take everybody to react the way you want to be reacted. As in wewe ukikosewa kuna venye uta react, mm-hmm. mwingine atakasirika na kuna venye feeling pia kikosewa ta react. So inategemea na reaction. Mm-hmm. People have different reactions. So maybe usimjudge na reaction. Yeah, maybe yeye yeah, ako nani dem. Unajua ma dem react kwanza hivyo. Maybe yeye ni dem anataka bado attention. Anataka wasee wajue kuna kitu anasema. Na bado ako tu sawa. Mimi sioni akaa kombaya. Ako tu poa. Eh yeah, ako tu poa. Mm, all right. And what about the what when you are maybe ako depressed or really hospital like maybe she's going she's becoming too much. What do you have to say about that Bunty? Huyo mwenye anasema hivyo ameguzwa mahali. <laughs> no, na kuna mahali ameguzwa. So anataka kumzima. Huyo demo amekuja sana. Anasema hadi vitu zenye si tumedu. Atasema sema hivyo atufikie unaona. Sio lazima tumzime. Sasa tumzime kwanza. Eh alafu unajua ni kama sasa hii ukiagi una mtu kama nani sasa celeb mnoma Kenya. Oh wow. Okay yeah that's a, yeah, that's a good example. Nianze kuagi una feeling sasa hii. Imagine people want to hear me they will what I hear feeling. Unajua that's the problem. But kuna wale tu watasema hapana. Oh boy. Akona point. Akona point. So, like I think I'm going to call my friend. I think I'm going to call my friend sana. Eh hey, sana. Nani ah, ah, Alex? Alex. What's up? Why would you lie to people huh? you shaved? What <laughs> walikuwa hapa kwa show last week they were like Oh my god, <laughs> Anes shaved his head. Really? But Ali to prank. Umse, juu tutamnyoa. Si mimi nilikuwa nafanya tu nilikuwa nafanya tu jokes. Kwa nini nilikuwa serious? He was online lying to us that he shaved his hair. Uh-huh. Na tukacheka sana and we were like, "Haha, kichwa ina kama yai." And then <laughs> he <laughs> came. <came. laughs> he actually did not shave his head. Shemo, ni tutakunyoa. Tutakunyoa. Ni bye. <laughs> Anyway, we move, we move. Let's move on to another story right here. And content creator Extend Dollar has spoken up after his mom spoke about not seeing uh, actually seeing him for almost five years now. According to Extend Dollar's mom, the creator hasn't spoken to her or his siblings in a long time and has since blocked all of them. Extend on his socials hinted that his family is toxic and that might be the reason he has decided to cut them off. We have a video. Let's have a look. Mandela anaitwa Ada Mandela Nyongesa. Ada alizaliwa mwaka wa 1990. Kidogo kidogo kuanzia 2019. Alianza kwanza kupotea potea. Nikimwambia kuja nyumbani, ah, hakuji sana. Alisema mama niko very busy. Niko ah, nikasema ni sawa. Sasa kuanzia tu hapo alinyamaza na ni hivyo kuanzia hapo sijai msikia. Sasa ikawa ame cut off na mimi ameni block. Atasa mimi ndio nikaona wacha ni apili mahali penye adha yako. Acho mama yako na mtaka. Ni uchungu. Kukamya kaime. Pia kuona mtoto wako sio raisi. Sio raisi. I'm so sorry. Paka mtu nakuwa emotional. It's not easy. Na pili mali penye yako. Acho ya kwamba mama yako anampenda. Baba yako alikufa. Hiyo ndio nguvu yangu. Sina nguvu nyingine. Sasa kama anachitenga. Hataki 
hata siblings wake kuongea na yeye anataka tufanye nini kwa wewe Fatima Fatima wewe ukionea kwa pema niliona kwa picha mko na mtoto huyo mtoto mwenye umepepa miezi tisa akukame anaitwa Ada Right, actually, shout out to Saudi TV for that one. They are the ones who had that video first. So, um, my question is, do you cut off your family because you, you, you think they are toxic? Because you have people who complain, um, my mom is toxic, my sister is, is toxic, my dad, uh, my family is toxic, they don't like me, they don't, you know. So, una block kila mtu, una songa peke yako, una ishi peke yako. But then he started his family. He has a child now and I think he has a girlfriend. They, I think they moved in together or something. So, you started your own family and you leave all that negativity. Uko, we una songa mbele. How do you deal with toxic families? Like, unajua? Uh, wangare? Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, one, it is very important to remember where you come from. Right. And I, more than anyone else, I understand just what lengths mm -hmm. toxic families can go to. Right. In such a situation, I don't think I'd exactly block, because this is you and you how where you're coming from, but at distance, at would distance myself, because sometimes you have to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we come from families that, oh my God, crazy. So I do understand the whole point of, of a crazy family background. But when it comes to someone like your mom, regardless of how toxic she might be, I think that occasional help, like after you're not talking, but unambrushia too, you know, just kakitu too, 10,000, 5,000 once in a while, but webu kokando, you know, like don't just forget them. Right. Don't just blacklist them. Like now, even to God, that is wrong. And you know, regardless of what parents do, at the end of the day, they're still parents. And at the end of the day, they are still your second gods. Much as sometimes they go about the parenting thing the wrong way, mm. they they still deserve. They're, they're still respect. a big part of your success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Honest. that's wrong. Yeah. I live personally. Najua mtu ambaye like growing up alipigwa like walikuwa ali, napigwa sana sasa kuna ai hawa wazazi nikawa wanipendi wasema <laughs> unaona like uh, mtu amepigwa kwao like you're young and then you're like siku moja nitapata kazi nitatoka kwa hiyo nyumba muta wine yona nitaenda so like they, they go ahead and they literally go there like they go ahead na wanafanya hivyo akishapata kazi anaenda huko anaenda Nairobi anatoka home na hamuta wai muona true to his word like he never comes home like like in the case of a friend i'm talking about uh, to him he was like eh yeah, i was well gonna nipiga nikaanza kuniua mimi i still have that revenge against them they were out to get me so I'll I'd rather just live my life see because they don't like me there's no reason for me to like them back because they don't even notice that i'm gone for that long so yeah in dangi nyumbani i think it's been more than 10 years he's never been home uh honest what do you think about that now mama extend and alia like me and takatu kwa nam toto angu and extend is like nah ali wa block so what do you think allegedly i don't know maybe the ma'am. no i don't think she's reaching i don't think she you think she'll go to such lengths Okay, mm. lazima tuelewe side zote. Unajua mm -hmm. tusijiangalie vitu one side. Mm -hmm. Huyu jamaa hezi kwa alitoka tu. Yeah. Ka decide that istaki kurudi home. Mm -hmm. Ara mimi naweza sema I was somehow a victim. Nikiwa mm -hmm. mdogo mokoro manzi amenipiga beatings zingine jo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, si uongo manzi. Eh masizi wangu anaweza kupea story. Ukasema wewe 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 pigwa pigwa kula beating mbaya sana. Ndio ni acha kucheza soka. Unaona na nisome. Mokoro akona tusome tu tuza bon. But at the end of the day I didn't wake up home. Mhm. Mm Nikaenda kukaa kwa streets juko home kumekuwa kubaya. So no way. Yeah, that's a true story. What? Yeah, juko What's home. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah kupigwa ile ya zinjuu wewe unasumbua. Unajua vijana wanasema ngamna unasumbua. Ah, kumbe wewe ulikuwa unasumbua. Yeah, si wanasema ngai hivyo. Sijui unajua was a kid. But kitu mimi nataka kusema wazazi pia wanafawaelewe mtu wewe. Unajua usi make decision venye wewe unataka. Pia elewe mtu. Unajua mtu yeye anaweza penda kitu wewe upendi na usi enforce apende kenye unapenda. You are two different people. So maybe kuna kitu alafu hiyo familia venye mna grow up home maybe mna mzae na madhe wanashindwa wame fight. Watoto wanaona hiyo vita nini vitu yani ya muelewani mm -hmm. zinafanya wezi taka kurudi home. So sometimes to create home iku environment poa enye mto hii akitoka na kumbuka home kulikuwa kupoa. Mm -hmm. Tusi make ile home iku place nikienda hapa sitawai taka kurudi. Right. Mzazi ndi ya na make home inakuwa 
home poor. So at least tujaribu kama wazazi tu tutengeneze home iko the best place to be. But then they say like um, when your parents discipline you they literally just want the best for you and <laughs> like hata hata ukipigwa like they, they know what is best for you. Ni vile tu you're too young to understand but Okay, hey. ukiwa mdogo, ukiwa mdogo unaona unachukia. You don't deserve kupigwa nini ukiwa mdogo. But sometimes uki grow unaanza kuona they did something. Kama mimi saa hii naona mokoro ali dokti ya maana cause ningekuwa somebody mwingine mbaya. Mm-hmm. So uki grow ndo unajua wali in some way walikosea kunipiga juu wako na right ya kunipiga hivyo. But <laughs> yeah lakini saa zingine mimi kaachiri. Eh yeah, ilikuwa beat nyingine muenda but sometimes naona anga nilikuwa na deserve cause vitu nilikuwa na do mm-hmm. nilikuwa na deserve kupigwa ndo nijue kufanya hivi nikitumbaya na mbaya so but tuelewane tu mzazi mm-hmm. ile mzazi na na na, 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 na mtoto mtoto right. na mzazi yeah mm. plus feel no na like the case of your friend mm. if you want it to be different for your kids you have to be the bigger person with your parents you have mm. to settle all those uh battles and wars and unresolved issues you have to be the bigger person you have to go back to your parents you have to be the bigger person you have to resolve them otherwise that you will project your fears your issues on your kids and actually and your that kids, cycle won't end. that cycle will continue going so if you want to like halt it you have to be the bigger person forgive your so, parents and understand that they did what they did for, uh, and according to them that was the best thing right. to do So just I'm be the bigger person. I've yeah. literally seen to uh, I don't want you said I've seen people who like maybe they d- they saw their the dad abuse their mom and they're like when I grow up I want to be like I don't want to I will anything. never be anything like my dad and then they grow up and they become exactly, exactly. their father like it happens maybe your dad was uh, polygamous you're like mimi siwezi and then you end up in the same situation as him you might not be polygamous but you have a wife and 20 other side chicks mm-hmm. there is probably no difference you have kids like you know everywhere just like your dad and you used to judge him for that so i think what sure you know like twingine fani pia si ni kweli eh ni kitu kweli una msee alichukia babake ju babake maybe ali marry another wife mpaka sasa yeye anachukia baba yake na yeye ameoa na yeye ana ma ana ma side chick tano lakini bana anachukia tu baba lakini bana anachukia mdaka so ukimuuliza mbona unachukia mzae na baba yangu alikuwa anatesa mama yangu na wewe unatesa mtoto wenyewe at that time so hata wewe ni wasi kushinda baba yako wewe ndio unafuchukiwe and let me tell you something if your wife is happy your kids are going to be happy your wife is not mad like ati unamtit vizuri she has everything she has she wants you're not like you know alafu anachukia watoto na kuchukia wewe like i think if you love your wife correctly children also see that yes. and they they and actually grow in that yeah because a lot of kids always want to be like their parents they're like well, i just wanted to be i just want to be like my not dad not even yeah. want to mm-hmm. subconsciously they they just take yeah. on their parents and everything all the habits mm-hmm. of their parents yeah right. feel una journey ni kweli cause kuna dem ni luai katia back then kitalo uh-huh. yeah akaniambia akibantua ni msoft mimi nataka mimi nataka boy ananipiga juu ni kwa naona madhea kipigwa wewe mwanao unipigi like unaona mimi namwambia madem unajua fai kupiga zi wewe unafanya kikosi unanipiga wewe bala unipige unanijamia nataka nipige that is she thinks well, as in people are different what are you doing anadhani that is how she's supposed to be loved yeah, she says that yeah because like when Okay, you are too calm and I know like there's something wrong. They then like if it's someone who's used to stuff like that mm. and they are dating someone who is not violent, mm. they start to self sabotage. Eh, eh, but all in all, if you are out there and you think being beaten is a love language, it is not. It, it is, is not wake up, language. it is not. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Let's move on to another story now. And in uh, recent <laughs> weeks Oh all right now let's just read the uh, we we'll read the story and then we're going to take a commercial in a few now in recent weeks social media platforms have been lit up with a heated twitter war between Kenya and Nigeria now the two african nations were engaged and currently still are engaged in a war of words with both parties throwing jabs at each other using memes and sarcastic comments now the war which started as a simple banter between two citizens of two countries quickly escalated into a full blown social media feud now kenyans in particular took to their uh, took their shots at nigerian president bola tinubu uh, pinubu's physique in response uh, rather and in response nigerians hit uh, back at kenyans calling them 
dark skinned Nigerians think Kenyans are super dark skinned sisi ni weusi sana and you know what as you think about that we're going to take that commercial i told you about we're coming back to talk about this don't go anywhere the hashtag is a cheat chat Why two five four? Imagine. Right now, welcome back. If you're just joining us right now, you are watching Chit Chat right here on Y254 TV, your favorite youth channel. I go by Philin, that is at Philin Jean on all socials. And of course, I'm hanging out with Wangare, Washiori, and Anis Bantu. And uh, just before we took a break, we were talking about the Twitter war that has been going on between Kenya and Nigeria. It has escalated. The memes are so funny. We cannot even have enough of it. It is so crazy. And aside from memes, we actually have videos let's have a look at those ones apologize let's watch this video then we continue this hey. man ah. Ah. i don't read the social media anymore oh me i know you will read they abuse hell out of me oh. really if I read it, I get high blood pressure. Hey, yeah, but yeah, no. sorry, oh. I get angry. You want? Hey, yeah, that way bad. <laughs> you love me. Ah. Yeah, before me and you we are peaceful. Ah. Right now, reason with me. I have I all all my fellow concerns. Yes, so what is it? What does that do? I have I all all my fellow concerns. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I want to be present. I want to be present for you. You like to do what? I want to be present for you. Okay. Which is not it's not bad. Huh. We are youths. Seventy years old man. We are youths. <laughs> no, then we are gonna keep you away. <laughs> about 70 years Oga, now. Oga, please, I beg now. Mm. Man, <laughs> let, let me tell you, I was going through Twitter, Wa Kenya Hamuna Huruma. Guys, Can I tell you one of guys. Let me tell you, one one that caught my eyes, and I was like, I am ah. done with Kenyans. Kuna mtu alienda, pale to Twitter, kwa this cold war between Kenya and Nigeria. Yeah, Alafu yeah. najua aliandika nini? Yeah. Because this guy is like older, and his face is super wrinkled. Yeah. Akasema tu ya kitoka kwa bafu, Hanid Dawel, anakui... <laughs> And I couldn't have you. And I couldn't have you. So, imagine I talk. I was like, what? Guys. I'm done. I'm done. I don't know. What are we thinking? Like, I, that is below the belt. You guys do not do that. Sipo. Oh, my Sipo. God. Sipo. Sipo. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Yeah, right. So, what are we thinking? Is Kenya winning this war? Amani Nini. <laughs> me, me, me was your daily. Mm -hmm. If you can remember your Kenyan and Nigeria, the only thing Nigeria and Abishindia and population, mm -hmm. you know, I'm beyond even when I say my Nigeria, Nigeria, when Abishindia population, nothing else in Nigeria and Abishindia. Like that guy is also surely Walimpigia Kura Wakiwa. But the youth uh, but the, the youth were really disappointed Wait. because um, most of the youth were going to Kapita Obi, Ashinde, but he didn't. They took to the streets, but you know. At the end of the day, it is it what is it right. is. So at least Nigeria are feeling what Kenya have been feeling. Sasa, okay, a slip <laughs> oh. of the tongue. Sasa, what I'm, eh? say, what I'm trying to say is this, a slip of the tongue. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. Unajua in Kenya, tunawendanga direct to the point. Unajua, huu jamaa, nimeona na lamba mic. Wait, wala mbangi mic. Oh, ali lamba mic, jali ambua test, test the mic. Na wele, mi na test mic testing, one, two, one, two. Nakambua test the mic testing. But at Wesley, okay, on the other hand of it, if I could, 
nafaa tutukuepua. We are brothers. Ni banza tu. Yeah. Si serious hivyo. Yeah. 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 It we, is we, so we, we are brothers. Hata wana tuingilia. Hmm. Wao jona vitu wanasema kutuhusu. But ukianza kusema mambo ya wewe usi manze. Nyii kujeni huku Kenya muone huku Roisambu. Nigerians are darker than Sudanese manze. Mbona sijui mnatuchukua aje. Yaani tuko brown skin. Unajua the problem with Nigeria wengi wame nini? Wame intamari na watu wa West. Mhm. Unaona? So unakuta mtoto anatoka tunaitanga aje kwa lugha ya kweli pointi eh, cappuccino ma, ma pointi mm-hmm. wengi sasa huko ni ma pointi na hao ndo unaona ngando ma celeb Nigeria kwanza ukienda audition kama we ni pointi ushapita audition hatutaki kujua kama uko na talent ama una hiyo ingine hiyo ingine hiyo ingine tutaangalia baadaye lakini pointi kwanza tumweke hapa huyu atakuwa main character mm-hmm. hawa wengi unaona sasa hiyo ndo problem Kenya sisi hata nyehudi ziko tu hapo tunaziweka zikuwe <laughs> tunasukuma tu maisha unaona that's the problem that's why wanashtuka it... Nigerians wanashtuka mtu mweusi ni main character kwa movie ya Kenya how comes so ironical yeah. people who are called blacks like we are literally as a race mm-hmm. we are called blacks But other black people are laughing at Kenyans for being dark. They like Kenyans you are too black. Ha 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 ha. Nyinyi ni weusi sana. But even Kenya we do that. We laugh at Sim Kenya kio na msudana anacheka na bado ni mdaka. Like it's it's over. It's over here in Kenya. So ni necha yetu mwanzo. Ni necha ya Africans. Africans wanaangalia na nini mdaka kushinda kushinda mwingine unajua. It happens it happens. Hakuna kitu mgeni ati tumeona leo. I don't understand what you mean. Kwa nini mmoja yeye anamsudi ukacheka? Kwanza wasudi by the way mimi I love the Sudanese skin. It is so flawless. Wewe unaona watu wakiwa na pimple hata moja. Like their face is so smooth. Like super dark skin. Filimu kiwapenda inaeleweka. Unajua yeah? mtu anapendaka kitu ana. So inaeleweka. <laughs> At least tunawapenda juwezi kama hao. Na tunajua sasa <laughs> Si <laughs> mtu mweusi anajua nga mweusi mweusi kumshinda. Unajua hiyo hata wa Kenya bado wana fight racial racial wao unashindwa hata you fighting na nyi wote mko the same race. Unaona? Like kama US unakuta mtu kama Chris Brown anaambua ni mweusi, si ndio? Mtu kama Beyoncé anaambua yeye ni wewe ni mweusi. Lakini like, sasa Beyoncé mm-hmm. Rihanna ni mweusi. Rihanna alikuja hii Kenya manze ni brown skin. Yeye ni mzungu. Yeye ni mzungu, unaona? Mm-hmm. But huko anatukanwa mm-hmm. yeye ni mweusi. But right. Kenya sasa sisi tunajua na nini mweusi? ni si mweusi. Mm-hmm. So iko everywhere si Kenya ni Africa. This is what we've been dealing with. Right. Joy, you have something to add on that? Other than you guys are cold, <laughs> nothing. They're cold. <laughs> ah, you guys oh, Kenyans are cold. cold. I, gosh, I love yeah. you, you're my country people, but you guys are cold. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's good. I, th- I don't think anyone else can mess with Kenyans on Twitter. No, you can <laughs> not. Take up a map like you yeah, cannot, yeah, we right? shall sure, sure sign. Okay. Like OGs of Twitter. Sisi na OG. Okay, hata tukikwanga OG. Come slow. Just guy. I know, Some right? So this means guy. Let's Okay, if if you want to follow up on this war, just enter to Twitter, enter to Kenya versus Nigeria. Nigeria. You'll mm-hmm. see all the drama that has been happening there. Kama una kitu ya kuchangia, just put it huko. Pesa tutaona. Na next kuna siku nilisema hapa Filin. Manzi hata kama unataka unataka kusimama prezo. Tutafuteni pia watu presentable. Oh, jamaa sasa ameibisha Nigeria mzima. Na si kupenda kwake. Si kupenda kwa Nigeria. Ameibisha country. Sasa the face of Nigeria ni huyo jamaa. Even ndo Nigeria <laughs> yote wanakaa. Mimi president wewe unakaa ndo the face of your country. Unajua? Hata tukitaka kufikiria Uganda tunaangalia anga the face of M7. Unajua Uganda inakaa M7. Unajua? Anyway, anyway, and we'll have to get started. Let's move on to another story and our deputy president recently spoke up about uh, you know the how much he gives to his wife uh, who is uh, Dokas, Pastor Dokas, right? So he allegedly said that um, he gives his wife I think 3000 per week. Was it per week or per month? Or, I'm, I'm not sure. Probably per week or per month for her hair. So now Kenyans have come up with creative ways of now calculating how much you should be giving your girl for her hair according to how much you earn every single month. I'm not even kidding about this. Like it's so crazy. Like they're like uh they're, they're like come on. Okay, actually it's on your screen. Sasa unaweza calculate according to uwezo wako. According to your income, you can calculate how much you're supposed to be giving your girl. Ujue utampatia pesa ngapi. I don't know this is so crazy like what kuna watu wako hapa wako zile za oh because he's getting 1.4 million right so he's getting 1.4 million alafu bibi yake anampatia 3k some to a 1m anapeana 2.1 and then there's ivo i didn't to me 43k 
Below 20k wanasema Oh ana shave. Mhm. Ha 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 you guys. Kama mtu wako anapata below 20k wewe kama bibi you don't need money for the salon. Wewe ni wa kichwa eh na usonge mbele kama injili. Hakuna hakuna story nyingine hapo. But what are we thinking? Uh, just, I'm I'm so curious. How much do you use for for your for your hair every single month? Wangare. Uh, a month. Let's say twice a month. Oh twice a month. How much do you spend on your hair? Like let's say like sio ati mtu ameku ame ame nini amekulipia like this is just you as Wangare. Yeah. How much do you use per month? I don't know. Around uh some 789k. 9k? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a lot. So I'm right? actually thinking so now I have to date a billionaire if I have to be given money for mm-hmm. yeah. If you yeah. need 10k, yeah, 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 I'll have to. If you date need 10k, come yeah. standard in 1.4 versus 3k. It's a bidi. It's a bidi. Yeah. Work on a standard. Sana. Yeah. I literally use I think less than 500 bob every single month for my hair. Less than. Yeah. But because I already have hair. I okay, so honey, honey, how much is that? You know when we say hair is everything, the, 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 the wigs are included. The wigs are included. And, 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 and listen, I'm actually feeling your hair because <laughs> for me it's doing my hair, like literally uh, pleating my hair. Yeah. You... Okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. So the, the the hair the hair I have, let's say like this hair, right? This is like um a one time mm. investment. So you'll spend whatever she's saying, like probably forty k, yeah. and that is it. Like so, like say forty k, and oh, that is like forty k every every like uh maybe three four years. But for the rest of like every month, okay, not every month. Let's say every two weeks, every three weeks, depending whether you have time. You just go wash your hair. No, na shuka zile lines the students that is probably like 300 bob unalipa 3 so i love wash plus you know straightening so punch done yeah i don't know with the 40k so, on top no, hey, that is one. Anyway, <laughs> it's, not, it's, 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 it's twice okay. an year. Let her not say at your three for na 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 na. No, na, na, like na, na. no, I don't buy wigs like uh, so. You, you one like, wig for four years. No, you have different Thank wigs. Thank you. But so you don't buy them yearly. Like you just like <laughs> if you have three, four wigs, you're yeah, that's set. around 150k to nongelea. But you know, uli buy mara moja na ukasa how your story. It's a one-time <laughs> investment. You see, anyway, so we were anyway, an anyway. alipa skia. Listen, we you are supposed to do the math. Anes, help me out here. Mm-hmm. Ona, utuwe 30k ama 40k, ama ata 50 uh once. Alafu uh your story meisha utakuwa unatoa so tano so mbili za nywele every month ama ukuwa unatoa 10k ya nywele kila mwezi which one are you going with yeah kwanza right yeah. unanua mara moja na hiyo story una nika ku buy fridge una buy mara ama tv una buy na inakaa hapo hiyo story umemaliza kuna kitu wa muelewi mm-hmm. angalia ni swala ili ni swala nyeti swala nyeti na tunaangalia kwa kona zote mm-hmm. hii kitu moja gashagwa na si swala private yeah, okay. ni private sana hii. Si ya kuongea hivyo hivyo. Sasa wewe, seriously. Sikia kwanza. Kitu moja inafaa muangalie. Mm-hmm. Gashagua ako sawa akipeana hiyo pesa mm-hmm. sababu mshahara yake iko poa. Mm-hmm. Lakini unaangalia mwanamke mwanamke wake anang'ara, Gashagua ananga luku. Mm-hmm. So unaangalia unaona oh ule mtu mwenye bibi ameng'ara bwana yake ananga luku. Mm-hmm. So kwa ufupi Gashagua anajaribu kuambia wanaume msipige luku wanawake wetu wangare unaona na sasa sisi ghetto hii hapana maana wasi wa ghetto lazima pia sisi tupige luku tu vile inafaa hata kama mama na ngara tungare wote kama tunachoka tutope wote, wote. Uh-huh. mimi siwezi kupea 9k 3k na mimi mwenyewe nimevaa kiatu ya so mbili nani alisema hatuwezi pendekana so hatu lazima ifike yeah, kwa mimi lazima nikivaa kiatu ya 5000 mm-hmm. ndio nikupea nywele ya 5000 mm-hmm. lazima tupelekane sasa wewe una ngara aje na mimi nimechoka wewe una gashagua na kuangana ni dp na ana koti za ruabi na bibi yake anapiga 3k kwa kichwa uh, Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
you know so it goes a hundred and fifty k ni vile say yeye is in the salon kuka yeye ni lazima aite mtu wa kuje home you get but enda pia na mshahara yako you know you bibi ya dp ni pasta kuna tusadaka huko kando manze wewe unakunyanyeza mtoto wa mtu ajinyime akonde akupatie unajua at least gacha go anasaidiana hii ni cost sharing kuna siku yeah. apea yani ju right. sadaka iko pale kwa church na come through but all, yeah. the same, but anyway. all the same the important thing ladies you don't have to deal with oh he's going to give me cg 500 Go, go, go get your own money. Your own go your get own your own hair, money. Fanya nywele ya 20k in a month and you're good. You don't have to deal with oh, a man in 20k so you ship. Nywele ya 20k a month. Nywele. Wasichana nyoeni mwana. Nyoeni. Nyoeni mpige dai kwa kichwa. Mimi na do fit. Hata mimi kama ni ni hazi yako wangarenga kwambia muda like 20k nywele. Look at this, yeah. This is a, this uh, is this Kenya. Not, Are we in what? Dubai or no, this is me. Kenya? Unajua <laughs> <laughs> 20k iko na unga ngapi? Iko na unga ngapi hapo ndani wewe? Bunda, hiyo ni rent. Hiyo ni rent. Hiyo nyole ya gashaka unajua kwanza ni rent pale ghetto. Gani 20k? Hiyo 3k hiyo nimesikia sijui 3. Ni rent kuna keja 3k. Alafu sasa hiyo rent yangu ya mwezi ndio naweka kwa nyole. Tena angalia hizo mahesabu. But and then you pay pesa then you just go go hustle. Yeah, but, but if you get your own money, you can put Ata your own money. Ata you own sitana ya watu. Even your own money you need, you need to unafaa kuhesabu pesa yako, unafaa ku calculate pesa yako, unafaa ku save. Wasichana wao wafanye saving. Stress dika leka nyole ilikuwa sijui 800k. She got a wig what 800000 like 800k na watu wana buy nyole hadi za za mili za 1m ina ina depends na uko wapi imagine so you just do what you want it's your money anyway you spend it however you want right alafu ukisukia kwa kichwa uweke 1 million kwa kichwa unipigie nikusaidie punch utakula hiyo nyole mtu wangu bant demoneka hiyo nyole hata haizi kuongelesha hata kuangalia mimi nimeongeleshwa na vera Ouch. Ouch. Where am I going to get it? Yesterday, yesterday able to song we are not going to do this here. <laughs> like it's for real it's true story. Ah, you want to kill it? 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 It's not a lie. Endo angalie wali yangu YouTube Ernest Bantu. Niko pale na Vera. Yeah, niko pale na Vera unajua amenipiga hug nimefurahi anaambia Bantu rada. Unajua mimi ni mtu nime miss. <laughs> like for, like for <laughs> real. Usiseme ati, ati kuna nini. Okay, hebu kabla tichochwe zaidi hapo. Hebu let's move on. Hebu let's move on. Hadi chocha. Na Tanzania listen, listen. Tanzanian singer Harmonize has been making headlines after reports emerged that he was allegedly forced to split his wealth with his Italian ex-wife Sarah, right? Now following their split uh, three years ago. Now according to some sources, Sarah claimed that she has he uh, she helped build Harmonize's brand and was actually and is entitled to his wealth. You know? You remember, uh, you know, you remember her, right? Mm. Uh. Yeah, before Kajala, before Kajala there was Sara, Sara. And Sarah they were together. Mm, I'm Italian. I'm Italian. I'm Italian. I'm Italian. Italia. Mhm. Hey, lakini Karembo jo. Umesikia, lakini wazungu, wazungu ni wajanja sana. Mzungu alijua tu tabia yake ndiye akakuja na kitu inaitwa looks are deceiving. Mm -hmm. Hizi medhali zinakujanga kama zimeendana hivi. Unaona <laughs> hiyo look venye ili deceive harmonize. Alifuata looks. Unajua well, harmonize nimeona I think it was yesterday amepost anaambia watu guys ukipata chance ya kukuwa single please be single because one day you know and I'm like bro who hurt you again? Oh, I saw this story I'm like uh -huh. No, Harmonize Harmonize is one of those people who anapendanga na roho yao yote. So, yeah. when they love, they trust they trust a lot. I think uh, he trusted Sarah a lot and he trusted her with a lot of his secrets and they met uh, maybe they probably made investments together. Yeah. And then he comes to debt Kajala and ambaye range rover Mbekse oh. wakiachana Kajala anamwambia ulizi bai kwa jina yangu na una expect ni kurudishie mm -hmm. no so when things like that keep happening to this person he's like you know what it is not Just worth it single. it is not worth it wewe gapa yako but, yeah. but i don't know it's depend, depend na depend na growth mm -hmm. uli grow happy mm -hmm. kuna watu wame grow vibaya na kuna watu wame grow poor hiyo ni kitu inafaa understand kuna mm -hmm. mtu ali grow hakuna mtu anampenda hakuwa na ile self esteem yani juu yako ana do yani alikuwa tu ule mse useless huyo mse by the time anapata do akiamua kupenda yani anapenda juu yako anapendwa na kuna mtu alizaliwa akipendwa tu akipendwa juu kila kitu ilikuwa alikuwa anapendwa so mtu anaona ng life iko hivyo watu wame grow different. Elewa amona izametoka kwa background yenye hakuwa anapendwa. 
So amepata right. dough anataka kupendwa. Unaona ana, anataka ile kitu alilak. Si hata ukishika pesa unatafuta anga ile kitu ulilak. So, okay, na hata kata mimi swali so yangu kwa ngari is this. Now Kenya recently banned the law whereby like if you're married to someone when you split uh, it is 50-50. Unaona anachukua 50% you take 50%. Kenya walikata hizo story walisema once you split with someone if you're legally married kila mtu atembee na kitu yake. Kama ulileta yeah, hii yeah, chumfi yeah. wewe na chumfi yako yeah. kanyaga kubwa kubwa you know. Kenya so, mbarikiwe. Do does Tanzania need to adopt the same for their you know for the country so that people can stop relying on other people and everybody can work on with can work you no, know no, to no, get no, their no, own no. what are you thinking I feel like I will really ask you to take back that statement of relying on other people because mm -hmm. uh it is it is it is frowned upon when mm -hmm. a woman like Sarah when she claims mm -hmm. part of his wealth and in all truth we as women put our lives on hold for this men tonight to like move forward that is priceless mm. that does not amount to the millions in raising his accounts. needs staying at home with yes them, making sure the house is catered for yes. what is that was yeah it? what what is that was oh, that's it? nothing to you yeah. that's nothing to you <laughs> now these are the same men what is that, these are it? the same men yeah. who again complain oh career woman she, she's just a career woman she just focuses on her career you are the same men who complain that but when we put our careers on hold and build a life with you Na, now to now we are relying on you. We are relying on you. And yet with this man. Goja, many of you harmonize. Was it Diamond no, or was actually, Sarah? Who my, point, who? my point was, you... harmonize worked his way up. Mm. But I just feel, after his uh, history of relationships, he should learn. Okay, which he, he did because he told us to be single and, and, you know, really value that. But he should learn and so many other people should learn from that. Same to women. You know, if you have to make investments, watch when a straight line between that. Let there be contracts. Mki divorce ni mtu anaenda na what fair fairly is his or hers. Will that All be right, a relationship? Now, let's do this because of time we have to remember to another story nyinyi hamta maliza we're going to yeah, do this. Yeah, we usually so. have I think like uh, you know almost like, I think like 5 minutes I'm not sure let, 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 we'll confirm. Now there's a new invention by a university in China that has caused a star on social media platforms with many users expressing both intrigue and shock. Now the unique invention is a kissing device that claims to stimulate the feeling of a real kiss. Well some people are excited about the potential for this invention others have expressed concerns about the implications for human intimacy and relationships let's have a look at the video Chinese university students the way it works is you download a remote kissing device has just been invented and patented by a Chinese university student. The way it works is you download an app, slot your phone into the lip device and give it a smooch. The lips then record the pressure, movement and position of the kiss and then transfers that exact movement data to your partner's lip device and back and forth it goes. And I'm just gonna say what we're all bloody thinking. This will become the most misused device in device history. The is, who wants one? A remote kissing device has just been invented and patented by a Chinese university student. The way it works is you download an app. That reminds me of kiss me through the phone, kiss you know. Same as soldier boy. When I get home. Soldier boy. Kiss me through the phone, you know. <laughs> so now you can literally do long distance. Bila sida yoyote. Like, I wish you were here. They're like, bro, but I am though. Just take the kissing thingy. Put it on your phone, now you can kiss me through the phone, honey. What are we thinking? Mapenzi Digital. <laughs> yes, <laughs> are you liking this for no, people who no, are doing no, long no, distance no, 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 relationship? No, no, no. Why not? That's not gonna Literally, it feels like a real kiss. Like if they, if they kiss you through the phone, it comes and kisses you like a real kiss. Monotaki. Because I want him. Allow me not to speak on that, but I'm not just buying that kissing invention thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, I can't say at this particular time <laughs> on national TV, but yeah, I'm not <laughs> buying that. I don't know. Honest. We yeah. don't have a story. Yeah? I have a story about Anna Jay. Mapenzi digital. Ma Mapenzi ni intimacy. Mm -hmm. So there's no intimacy there. So there's no intimacy. No, like, there's no intimacy. You have to be here. Yeah, you need to be here. Manze, mm -hmm. we need to be here. We do what we gotta do. Iso vitu za... Manze, tuta choma nsa moja. Yeah, yes, yes. Tuta choma nsa moja, but... I have to say, you need to make sure that you are Yeah, you are up. Yeah, right. Yeah, very yeah. important. I know, very and and important. we had like a lot more other stories to speak about, but unfortunately, time <laughs> cannot understand. I need to know if you are going to time in as we share. What is this? We still have a lot more stories, but I want to send a big shout out to Crazy Kenna, by the way. Kenna and a jungle.